Hi everyone, Jennifer Blevin Smith with Integral Clinic Solutions, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Navigating the Business of Medicine. Today I'm going to do just a quick conversation, high level, about wearable medical devices. With our technology growing every day so fast that we can't even keep up, there have become so many advances in medical devices to the point where there are so many that a patient can wear without a lot of inconvenience and wires and all of that jazz that can help healthcare professionals provide even better care to their patients because of this. The Bluetooth technology is one thing that has really helped in this because it's helped with people being able to wear um, glucose monitors for diabetes, any kind of, you know, we have the, the atrial fibrillation implants that people can wear or, or defibrillators in their hearts. We've had those for a while, but now there's even stuff that will regulate patients' heart rates, such as our smartwatches. It will let us know if we get into an irregular heart rate. Not all irregular heart rhythms, but some. It will let you know when you're in a loud environment, even like that maybe you should protect your ears. We have devices that will help people who have a multitude of different ailments, chronic conditions, and it allows the communication to the provider's offices. A lot of them will transmit the data directly to their chart and alert the doctor's office of those results to be reviewed and be able to make changes to medications or call the patient if they're concerned about something to do some kind of follow-up or testing. It allows for more quick responses when something's not going right, um, such as the glucose monitors that people wear on their arms or their stomachs that will let them know if their blood sugar starts getting too low before they start having a lot of symptoms so that they can try to eat something to boost it up before they start having really bad side effects. It's just one of those things that have become very, very proactive in the approach to assisting people with chronic conditions rather than being reactive after the fact when patients go into ketoacidosis or that they pass out because their sugar is so low or that uh, somebody's having some kind of atrial fibrillation um, or some kind of fibrillation going on with their heart that would need to be corrected. It allows just so much more insight and i have always been a person that is very proactive in my approach to things than being reactive and the medical devices are just allowing more of that there are so many things that can be used within the doctor's office that maybe isn't necessarily wearable but they are blood pressure machines spirometers thermometers, things that measure certain vitals that aren't even manual anymore. It's like digital, takes the reading and can go right into the chart. It's just, it's wonderful. And, and I'm not even that well versed in all of the abilities out there and capabilities of these devices, but I know it is just something that keeps growing and they keep trying to make things even better. They're trying to make things smaller if they're too big. I mean, I wear hearing aids and we know how far hearing aids have come. They used to be really bulky and big and they would cover up like the whole hole of the ear, the opening of the ear. And now you can't even see, like when I tell people I wear hearing aids, they are one, shocked because of my age, but yes, younger people can have hearing loss. But two, because they can't even see them. Like, I mean, I'll take mine out right now. I mean, it's amazing. It's dark, so it blends in with my hair. It's just a small little wire. And then you have the speaker that goes inside my ear. It adjusts uh, the, the amount of volume going into my ear. So if I'm in a really loud environment, it helps come down a little bit. I don't have to adjust it. Um, and then it also the technology goes with my head. So if I turn my head this way, it will focus this, the um, hearing stuff coming in 
more where my head is pointed so that I can hear it better. And then if I turn this way, it will adjust and it will funnel that noise from that angle into my head and my ear better. So it thinks that wherever I'm looking, I'm probably trying to hear from that angle and it funnels it appropriately. It's just amazing. And these are like seven years old, so I'm sure they're even better now. Um, but a lot of people can even have them on their phones now. This one doesn't. I have to wear a necklace that connects Bluetooth and then I can listen to my phone music, audiobooks, be on phone calls with it. Um, but now people can do it all through an app on their phone with the newer ones. But um, yeah, I mean, the hearing aids are just a simple example of something that they have advanced so far. And just think about everything else that we've come around and come to for the other conditions that are going on. Now, the way insurance does or does not cover wearable devices is a whole nother topic. I could probably do a whole nother video on that. I can tell you that as an adult with hearing loss diagnosis, since pretty much I was a kid, insurance doesn't cover hearing aids for adults at all. It's all out of pocket, which is very unfortunate because my quality of life is significantly better with having hearing aids. My relationships with my husband, my family, because I can hear better now and I'm not so anxious all the time in loud environments or when I go to big gatherings, I would just kind of nod and say yes. So, I mean, it's unfortunate it's not covered at all, but I was fortunate enough to be able to save to get them. I do think some wearable devices are covered by some insurances depending on the diagnosis and depending on the device that's needed. I'm sure the wearable glucose uh, glucometers are covered at some point or somehow with insurances. I don't know if they're covered 100%. I doubt it, depending on your insurance. And so that's hopefully somewhere that we're going to be moving forward. I would hope, fingers crossed, because it is improving people's lives. Their morbidities and mortalities have to be improving. I'd love to see the statistics with people who are utilizing this new technology to again be proactive instead of reactive with their condition. If you have experience with wearable devices that are helpful in your practice or patients that you've worked with, please, I would love to hear from you. I would love to learn more about this. I'm very intrigued. I know I can read stuff online. I have read stuff online, but I really wanna hear that firsthand experience either from someone who wears something like my hearing aids or a glucometer or has family members that use them or you're a provider that has patients that use them. I just wanna hear like, true anecdotal information and be able to connect everything from there. So please share your experience in the comments below. Smash the thumbs up button if today's video was helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please share this with anybody whom you feel would benefit. I appreciate the support. It's so good to see you. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.